Good morning, folks. It turns out that the incoming sunspot has a bit of reverse polarity, umbral size, and magnetic interaction. Boy, that's a perfect recipe for boom. Do your best to watch the magnetic field activity prior to this solar flare, which registered M9.2 on the X-ray flux charts, a powerful eruption. You might also notice a CME erupting, Due to the location of the active region still near the limb, it is unlikely that the shock wave will directly impact Earth. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at those magnetic fields in 171 angstroms of light. What you should notice is lower level umbral field surges, which increase the magnetic pull and push on the upper coronal fields, which bend down, and the moment they interact at the photospheric level, we get the explosion followed by reconnection and repopulation of the fields. The CME is big, but again, not coming this way. Got a lot of data missing from the C3 camera there. We'll do CME analysis with Cactus and see a relatively wide range of readings. While not a major eruption, it was mid-level to high in power. As previously stated, it rang at M9, right as Noah's blackout was ending too. We mentioned yesterday on Fly on the Wall that the active region was reverse polarity as this tiny umbra out ahead of everyone else is negatively polarized and we're supposed to be seeing positive leading down south, another sign that the sun's pole flip is nearing completion. Seven days of solar wind here show the current coronal hole stream, definitively not as strong or as quick to onset as the last one, but an increase in plasma speed has continued into this morning with instability also continuing in our planetary shield, holding magnetic storms at bay for now. We'll need to monitor filaments even more now with an active star. Got two of them coming in down south. One is very, very, very long. Up north we see two as well. These are more longitudinally oriented. The current coronal hole is on the Earth-facing fourth of the star. Even with medium force, we'll look for earthquakes, and we did see two moderate rumbles yesterday that hit six magnitude on multiple readers, although they were downgraded, Alaska and Papua New Guinea. One cyclone weakens between Africa and Madagascar, just as one to the east begins strengthening very quickly. It's Uyen fashion right after the solar flare. A note from the Weather Channel, they agree about the return of tornado season soon, especially for the south. And today begins the switch to warmth. A low here is yanking heat and moisture north, not only from the Gulf of Mexico, but from the Pacific flow up over Mexico and then which comes up through Texas. Flash flood potential to the south and east, with snow and ice continuing to the north where it meets the cold air holding on to its ground a few more days. In Europe, same power low up north, same convergence to the south swinging back out to sea, and that same low spinning to the southeast in the Mediterranean. Same conditions will persist today along the storm zones associated with those systems. We'll need the precipitable water overlay on to see that the northwest and northeast are housing tropical moisture. Otherwise, my eyes are on a weak convergence hanging over New Zealand. The watch alerts are lessened tonight but may re-ramp up tomorrow. We've got the current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.